Oh, hell a bit, it's your boy Big B B, and we back for another edition of Big Bid Business. What's up, man? You can see the things are different today. We have a guest, we have a special guest, the flyest in the game. What's happening? What's good, brother? What's good, man? The Bowtie Fragrance guy, for those of you who have not been subscribed to his channel, make sure you do it. He's the flyest, well dressed guy in the game and he's here today to help you with a project man tell these people about yourself before we hop into it okay man uh well first of all big beard uh congratulations man on uh the success you've had with starting a your own brand man that's that's huge I appreciate so it. uh in in your own word big time salute uh on mm -hmm. being able to do that man so but my name's darren i go of course bowtie fragrance guy uh, I've been doing YouTube reviews now probably for about three years, you know, and, um, you know, this is just a great opportunity. I appreciate my brother thinking about me and include me on this yes, project. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, so we can, we can talk about my royalties later, man. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Uh, I'm just kidding, man. But yeah, appreciate you having me on, bro. I appreciate you doing this with me. So listen, um, for those of you who are out there in YouTube land, kind of what we did here is I sent out some boxes, all right? And I asked my guy here to not open the box until he was live on camera with me. <laughs> he said, I got you. So, yes, sir. So pretty much what we do here, I got five fragrances in there that I kind of want to discuss with you. I want to get your opinion with it. Like, you can drop off this video at any time. Like, you know what, B, I'm done with it. Click. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Um, right, but, right. <laughs> but honestly, I just want your, your, your real world opinion, man. How these fragrances make you feel? What's your thought process? If you think they hit some misses and then, you know, we'll wrap it up. How that sound? Okay. Bet, man. I love it. So first of all, in full disclosure, this is the box he sent me. I opened the box. That's and uh, I reached, and, I, and then I happened to see, uh, I saw his message later. And he was like, I want you to actually open it because I was about to dive into it. <laughs> I was about to be spraying them everywhere and dive into it. But then... You know, uh, of course, I messaged you. So um, I have not opened it yet. So this is going to be real life first impressions. Boom. And uh, first of all, man, y'all check out his logo. That's dope. Wow. You know, when I grow up, I'm going to have me a logo, something like that. <laughs> you know, but we'll talk about that later, man. Yeah, so, all right. So this is the uh, the packaging that I was sent in, of course. Mm -hmm. First class. I wouldn't expect anything less from Big Beer B. Appreciate it, my brother. All right, so let's go ahead and jump into this, man. Like, I'm excited. Yeah. You know, I meant whoa, to put whoa. you some test strips in there, too, man. I, I forgot. I, my I got some here. I'll keep my test strips ready. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, so this is it, man. I don't know how exclusive this is going to be, but here they are, right here on the inside. I'm going to go ahead and pull them out um, and see what we got. It should be number two, so we can just go in line if it's all. It's all good. I'm going to do them in numerical order, bro. That's the best way to keep it. Mm -hmm. We have some order. All right, one, three. I smell something that smells good already. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but something smells good right now. So that means that we got some quality. If I haven't opened them yet, and we can already smell something here. So four, five. All right, let's start with number one. Now, I like to... Um, I like to do test strips. Yeah. Then I like to let it dry a little bit. And I probably will spray skin too. So um, that way I can really get the essence of it. Because I know sometimes test strips don't do a fragrance justice. Yeah. So I think that's how I want to handle that. So here we go, guys. Number one. Boom. Number Boom. one. <laughs> <laughs> Numero uno. So it's three ways we do. So you do from, you do here, right? That's how we do when we open a bottle anyway. We do here. All right. So we're gonna do a test strip and let's see what we got, man. Hold on. Well, there we go. That's the first spray of some big beer juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I right, look, I already smell something. I like it. <laughs> I like it. I like I like it. I can smell it already. It's it's potent. Let me see what we got. So first of all, first of all, one thing I will say um, that, you know, of course I watch your videos and I know that you and I both like gourmands. And number mm -hmm. one, I'm gonna tell you right now, we're already put in that gourmand category. So 
I like it. I like this, man. Oh, I appreciate it. I like this. Yeah, I love yeah. Gourmand. So, I mean, at the end of the day, when you when it's something that's Gourmand, I mean, it's hard. It's kind of hard for me not to at least like it to a certain yeah. degree because I like Gourmand. But this one is good, man. I appreciate it. I like it. this. Appreciate Number it. Number one, let me um, – I'm going to put the test strip there. Okay. And I don't have a pen handy. I'll just keep them in order. But I'm going to put that one there, and I want to do a small spray on my skin. So – I want to kind of see how it plays on skin as well. Yeah, know? definitely, definitely. I'm pulling up the notes on the other side here just in case you, you need the, you know, you want any of them. I got you. All right, let's see. So that's number one. I'm going to put that right there. Let's see. Yeah, it's even better on skin, of course. I'm getting a slightly something slightly fruity about this. Yeah, yeah. So it does have some some citrus notes in there as well to kind of help with it. Mm -hmm. Um. So in the, in the opening, you got some some Italian bergamot there. Mm -hmm. um, it's also you have that uh, cacao and nutmeg in there as well. And then Man, I, I was gonna say cinnamon, but it's nutmeg. Okay, <laughs> I was gonna say cinnamon. I, that's one of the first things I was about to say cinnamon. Yeah, I just, man, I, just I like got that, the, man. I just got the full breadth of the note breakdown today because we've been going back and forth and changing mods and. Along with right. the changing the mod, you had to change some stuff. So I've gotten everything back from the perfumers. So now I have the, the official piece. So if I look over, that's when I'm just making sure I'm syncing it up properly. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Is there incense in it? Um, yes, there is some incense in it. Um, okay, because I did pick up incense on the end there when I sprayed it on my yeah, skin. Yeah, yeah. yeah I yeah. like that, man. All right, good. I like that. All right, Ooh. so I like that one for sure. One for one. So go mine. So we're going with number two. <laughs> you guys can see that. That's the big deuce. Deuce, deuce. All right, so let's do. We're opening the bottle here. Let's see. Okay. And while you're doing that, I'm going to just tell you, like, the inspiration behind number one was really something that was for – you know, for, for you needed to, to have something that was going to be bold, you know, mm -hmm. slightly mysterious, you right. know, that you could dress up, you know. I feel like once that dries down, you get the full breath of it, you could dress it up. Yeah. And, yeah. See, and, and when you talk about bold and you talk about mysterious, a lot of times, honestly, like I, I uh, associate certain notes a lot of times, yeah. honestly, with certain adjectives. And when you talk about mysterious, honestly, I would incense. That's like, yeah. almost, yeah, that kind of brings some mystery, some darkness, some boldness to fragrances. That's what I envision, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, and that's how I kind of put it, you know, put it in my mind when I'm trying to describe a fragrance. I know certain notes generally for me kind of evoke a certain emotion, you right. know, and, and, and mystery is, is what I associate incense with. So, all right, so that's number one. Now, I'll spray number two on the strip. Let's see what we got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let me spray that again. I like that one. Hold on, let's see what we got. <laughs> this one isn't as bold as number yeah, one. Yeah, that one. That was more subtle, more more. Yeah, back. but 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 I want to get, I want to really get the essence of it. See, see, I, so let me tell you. See, I pretty much because you know I watch a lot of people on YouTube. I watch you know quite a few reviewers, but I noticed again. Just certain people have different tastes, and some people have similar tastes. We have similar tastes in fragrances. Because mm -hmm. I think one of our favorite fragrances is Black Phantom, and I think yes, we sir. share that affinity for that. So I can envision if I were doing a fragrance line, we probably would choose a lot of the same notes to try to go into it because we like what we like. Right. It would smell right. good. Now, I like this one as well. It's got something sweet in it. I, it's not like I wouldn't put it in the gourmand category, but it's something sweet in it that I like. Man, that's a nice one. That one's kind of I'm trying to see what I could describe this as. So in there, you got some uh, almond, you got coffee. He has some marshmallow licorice. That's what it is, almond. Yeah. That's what I was trying to figure out. And it was, because I think it was kind of starting to put me in the mind some, to some degree of, it doesn't smell just like it, but to give a reference 
like uh, the the Guerlain Loam EDL fragrances. Yeah. That's kind of sort of what came to my mind. I was trying to figure out, yeah, it's that almond that makes those fragrances, right? So, yeah. 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 This is one, I like it. Like I said, the guys, it doesn't smell just like those fragrances, but as a point of reference, I was picking up almond, right? And I was trying to figure out what had what it was and what gives me a, one of the most prominent fragrances to me when I think about almond. I oftentimes think about uh, Pegasus. And then I think about those three girl line fragrances. Right. Right. The Lone EDL line, Ideal, however people pronounce it. And so that's what I started to, to get in my mind. But I like it because that almond... Uh, I think heliotrope is a note as well that kind of comes off like almond sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I'm kind of picking up that kind of vibe, man, and this is really good. So I get that sweetness or all that nuttiness almost that comes from almond, but right. it's fresh at the same time. And I love a fragrance that gives me a good balance of a little sweetness with freshness at the same time, and that's what I'm getting from this one. Yeah, so you get some blood orange in there, and you also have some okay. Brazilian orange in there as well. Um, I'm trying to think where else you can get that freshness from. That's good, man. There's, there's some ambergris in there as well. It's more so in okay. the base, so, so you probably get some of that grittiness in there too. So that, that's oh. one for me that I needed something, that cuddle buddy action, you know? Yeah, that's yeah, what it know? is. Netflix that's what it is. is. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. Man, I like that one too, man. I, appreciate I like that one. I appreciate it. And it's number good. three is going to be a little bit different because number three is um, – is I, I kind of went with this one with the Mrs. Ma, you know, something that okay. she could wear. Now, some men will, will rock this one, but I think it's really something that uh, I kind of created with the Mrs. Ma, something that I knew that she would enjoy. Right, I, right. You know, we just talked about this, right? It's about the family for me. And uh, part right. of this was, was really just making sure that it's something that can satisfy the entire household. Well, let's take a let's take a look because you know my wife like to wear my stuff too. So, <laughs> you know, I told the guys in one of my videos, I said you gotta you gotta buy some unisex stuff, man, so you can you know tell the misses that you know I had you in mind mm -hmm. when I bought this. <laughs> so then she won't get upset when you buying a lot of fragrances. You know, this got rose in it. Yeah, <laughs> got rose. I love rose. Bro, I can't mess with you, man. <laughs> I can't mess with you, man. You, you digging <laughs> it? You digging it? <laughs> I'm, yo, seriously? I like this one. <laughs> I might like this more than num number one. Ooh. Because, see, now, you know, some of my favorite fragrances, Portrait of a Lady. Yeah. <clears throat> Bond number nine, New York Ooh. Mm -hmm. Lyric Man by I'm Wash. All these rose based fragrances. This is giving me rose, but it's a different kind of rose. And that's why I like it. Yeah, so there's, there's two roses in here. We got Bulgarian rose, and we also have mm -hmm. French rose in there as well. <clears throat> but it yeah. has this, this fresh type of vibe to it. It's not that like uh, very fresh. Roses, yeah. It can be kind of pungent, but this one is this fresh, up, uplifting. That's what I like about it. it. That's yeah. exactly exactly what I was going to say. It's very fresh. Mm -hmm. And I don't have, I've never smelled one that's been this fresh. Like, to me, of course, you know, Portrait of a Lady has the patchouli in there. So it kind of goes earthy. Um, Lyric Man, of course, is incense. And that's what I love so much about that is that contrast of rose within incense. And, uh, of course, New York Oud. But this is something that's very fresh. It's a fresh rose. So the rose smells very, very authentic. Yeah. Like, like almost like you have a fresh bouquet of roses. So you get a very authentic rose from this, but it's a freshness that goes along with it. So, man, I like that. Uh, I know the missus will love this one too. This one. Yeah. So that one yeah. we have. Um, I'm probably gonna put the note somewhere on the screen here for people watching at home. But we have bergamot, um, Italian mandarin, um, mm -hmm. orange, French rose, Bulgarian rose. We have jasmine. We got peach. Um, we have vanilla, cedarwood, and in, uh, Indonesian patchouli and Haitian vetiver. Wow. Yeah, man. Yeah. 
I'm gonna let me. I'm gonna put this one on my skin so I can come back to it in a minute. Cause I'm, if it's that good on the strip, I'm pretty sure that um, it's gonna be great on skin. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. I like that. One. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Seriously, I like that one. Man. All right, let's move on because I, I like that one. Cool. Yeah, man. <laughs> I like that one. Oh, perfect. I'm glad. I mean, all that. three of them have been good so far, but I really like number three. It's as a, as a rose to talk like, to somebody about it because I've been like wearing this in the house and going out yeah. and people ask what I got on. I can't tell them, you know, what I mean? like, right, right. Mm -hmm, yeah, I can't <laughs> tell you about it. <laughs> yeah. Man, I like that. I'm getting that and that Mandarin orange. Mm -hmm. Good blend on that Thank one, you. too. Thank you. All right, so let's go with number four, man. Let's go with number four. Mm. It's something very, it's something that's very familiar to my nose with this, and I don't know what it is yet. Okay. To be quite honest. What the heck is this, bro? And I just like to, because sometimes. You know, of course, it's not always easy to really decipher notes, right. especially when a fragrance is well blended. Mm -hmm. There's certain things that are easy to pick up. Like when number three, I immediately got the rose, right? Yeah. And number one, I immediately got vanilla, right? And I and although I knew what it was, it was a little bit hard for me to think of the note, but it was almond that I got from this one. This one mm -hmm. is a little bit different. It's not any specific note that jumps out at me. Yeah. But it does remind me of something that I don't know what it is. And it ain't a Jeep either. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me, let, me, um, let me spray the bicep here. Okay. Yeah, yeah I need to let these. Too, man. Work, working on them. Yeah, working I need to let some, guns, of these, you know? some, of these, some of these fellas out here know anyway. Don't let them both out <laughs> fool you. Yeah, no, I'm just fair. kidding. <laughs> let me see. I like it. Does this have cherry in it? No this cherry. Give me a vibe of cherry. No, no cherry. I'm, I'm gonna tell you what we got in there. One, all right. So we got a uh, bergamot, grapefruit. We have mm -hmm. lemon. We have Sicilian lemon, orange and cardamom in the top. Uh huh. In the heart of this one, you have uh, clary sage, juniper berry, and saffron. Yeah. And then in the base, you have a cinnamon, ambergris, myrrh, musk, and driftwood. I like that one too, man. Yeah. It's, it's even this one with this one, like the other ones were really good on strip and on skin. This one smells way better on skin than on the strip. Yeah. And I think that sometimes, sometimes what I've experienced, a lot of times, especially those citrus nose are really volatile. So Especially on a strip, sometimes they can go really kind of sour on a test strip. Mm -hmm. So uh, fragrances that have like all those notes, like that lemon, uh, bergamot, and all those really uh, citrus notes on the top, yeah, they can kind of smell kind of funny on a test strip sometimes. I'm getting a nice, bright, fresh kind of citrusy opening, the lemon, the orange, but I'm starting to pick up the saffron. And it's a very good contrast. And I love that because it makes it, this was one of those scents that you can wear any time of year. Right. Anytime, any time of year is going to be massive feeling. It's going to smell good regardless of what season that you're in. So that's what I like about this one. Yeah, so for me specifically, I told them I wanted something that was fresh and spicy, right? And I think uh -huh. that as I begin to go through some of the submissions on this and we begin to do uh, different modifications on it, Mm -hmm. That one was was really working for me. Like you mentioned with that lemon and yeah. the top there, like I, I get it, um, but I get it a lot better on skin than I do on the test strip. So definitely. But so we had the same or similar experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 
Man, four for four, man. All right. Four for four, bro. Perfect. Let's go to, let's go to number five. Number five. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the number. And the number five was the, actually the first fragrance that I picked. That was the first selection. Really? <laughs> It's crazy that it just, it just, I just followed it up as the number five, but that was the first one that uh, was signed and sealed. Is this, is this the old adage of saving the best for last? No, I can't say that, man. These are all my babies, you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I get citrus off top. Yeah. Nice, bright citrus. I mean, I'm not, I'm not surprised. Honestly, like I said, like, for instance, I haven't smelled Mr. Smelly's fragrance yet, right? Yeah. But what I would expect from him is a is a gentlemanly, masculine kind of fougere, because that's what he likes. So right. a lot of folks, of course, if you're going to make a fragrance, yeah. you know, obviously you want it to be some stuff that you're going to like. Mm -hmm. And like I said, when I watch your videos, a lot of the stuff that, that you like, we like a lot of the same stuff, the same type of fragrances. Right. Um, so I'm not surprised that more than likely this is similar stuff I probably would choose if I were making a fragrance, right? Yeah, but I like this one. I don't know if there's no roly in this. No, no no roly in this one. I got I know I'm picking up some kind of citrus like lemon, maybe. Yeah. Lemon, definitely. Let me okay. put it on skin and see what I get. So you got some yuzu is probably what you you're picking up on that uh Yep, that's fine about right. My left hand isn't as good as my right, so I have to do this with the right hand. You got bergamot, you got lime, you got that. Uh... Yep, lime, lemon, yep. Because it's really, 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 really fresh. Yeah. And what I think about, again, it doesn't smell like this, but what I think about, so I always like to give people like a point of reference just to put them in the mindset because you can't smell it. But you know how fresh, the freshness you get. There's a fragrance I love by um, Atelier Cologne. I think it's called Cedrat Innovant. And I'm it's sure like, it's a little, very much like a, like a lime mojito. Okay. Right? Just puts me in the mindset of that kind of freshness. Mm. I get the lemon, I get the lime, it's super fresh. Summer banger, there's, a little, there's something a little sweet with it. Although I'm at this point, I may be mi mixing stuff up now because I got, <laughs> I had to spray all of them on the same arm. So yeah, it's good, man. It's good. Oh, I appreciate it's it. It's good. And, and and just so you guys know, this is like sincere first reactions. Like I'm sincerely telling you guys how I feel about these, and I, I mean, I like all five of them. All of all five of them are very well blended. Smell good. I mean, what can I say? I appreciate it, my brother. What can I say? I really like I, that one's really fresh. They were like out of all these, like that's the one that I would really look at and probably say it's really, really gonna be like a good spring summer fragrance mm -hmm. because of that freshness, man. When it's hot outside like that, folks want things that are invigorating, you know, and that kind of when it hits the nostrils, it kind of wakes you up a little bit. Right. kind of actually it's really refreshing when it's hot outside, and that's what I think this one will do. I really like when fragrances use lime. Yeah. You know, yeah. like lime for me is a note that I really like in fragrances that, you know, have a citrus opening. Because honestly, I don't think it's used enough. I don't think lime is used enough. Like, folks like to use grapefruit. And for me, sometimes grapefruit can go kind of sour on my skin. Mm -hmm. And so I like lime, but I, people don't use it enough, honestly, in my opinion. So, Cause it's not, it's like nothing that blends as well with like lemon and lime. It's like phew, fresh, right. fresh, right. bright, vibrant, citrusy opening. I get with that. Classic. Man, I'm, I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm happy that you enjoyed these. Cause you know, I enjoyed them. I really did, man. Cause like at the end of the day, what I think, what I would say, what I would compliment you on with choosing these is I think that if you know, when you put out a line, if I were to put out a line, I would want to, have something pretty much for all occasions. Mm -hmm. You know, I would have, like, you got one that's good for a good spring, summer fresh fragrance with the last one to me. You know, you got something that's real good, like you said, 
kind of cuddle, like like it's kind of starting to lean in that gourmand territory, but not quite with the one with the almond number two. And then of course you got a nice fall winter fragrance number one, a good nice gourmand to wear in the fall and winter. And then you know like for me, pretty much three, three and four. Like I said, number four, very good year-round fragrance. Versatile, kind of mass appealing, you know, interesting note breakdown, contrasting, fresh citrusy with saffron. You know, so yeah. I, I like that, man. Get the job well done, bro. I appreciate it. <laughs> job well done. I can tell you what, you know, a lot of people, <laughs> a lot of folks are, are big on packaging. And, of course, I don't know what the packaging is going to look like yet. But my first impressions of the fragrances, I will tell you this, which I wouldn't expect anything less from you. If the package is on point, then I think it's going to be you're going to have huge success with these because the fragrances are good. The fragrances are really good. So, kudos, man. I appreciate it. Listen, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Oh, my phone's about to go. If, if you haven't, um, I all I have one recommendation though. Yes, sir. Um, for you, if you haven't named them yet, I think you need to call number one the bow tie fragrance. <laughs> the bow tie fragrance. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding, man. No, uh, but that's, I, I think we can make that revision, man. So go back and change all the bottles up real quick. <laughs> that's good. Man, I like these, bro. Good I job, man. I appreciate it. Good job. You, you didn't look, you didn't put oud in anything? Ah, uh, well. I'll talk to you about them. I had I had some 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 ooh fragrances that uh, we were gonna work on, so you never know when they may pop back up. <laughs> okay, well you know what? To be honest with you, I like I said, like listening to looking at your videos and stuff, I probably wouldn't have expected you to choose something with ooh. I was just being being funny there, but I mean I because I mean like I don't I'm not big, especially that the the kind of animalic pungent ooze. I can't I don't yeah. you know. Um, because my favorite ooh fragrance is ooh wood, and I don't really smell like it has a lot of ooh in it. <laughs> yeah, you know, so um, or like pre spicing wood, which does more to me about cedar wood. I love that one. Love it. I was gonna wear that today, but I said no. I'm gonna hold off a little bit longer. Let it get let it get a little bit cooler outside. But like I said, that's why I went with that Amir's own because you can't yeah. go wrong with that. You no, know, regardless of when you wear it. Right. You know, right. which what that was number four, right? Did I compare that to a little bit? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that rose fragrance. Yeah. That's the one. Number three. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, I like that, bro. My wife be trying to use it all up, man. I'd be like, hold up. Yeah, she. <laughs> and look, I know um when I let uh Mrs. Bowtie smell it, you know, she gonna I know she's gonna take that sample for herself. Yeah, man, you got you got to hit me and let me know what she think, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let her smell it. I'm gonna definitely let you know. But I know, like she's she loves florals, uh, especially rose as well. So that's why, like, I had to get another bottle of New York Ooh with the quickness because that was when she got on that one and got on Larry Man, like that bottle went. <laughs> you know, so this the number three sample probably won't make it through the weekend. All right, that's great to hear. Yeah, because I know I know she loves she loves rose and. You know, it's a really fresh roll, so I know she'll like that as well. That's good. So we'll, we'll have to divvy that up, man. I maybe get, maybe I get two wears out of it, but she you know, she'll, she'll, Hey, let, let's, let's, make, let's, let's wrap this video up, and then we can finish chit chat. Okay, bet. All right, man. So listen, man. Thank you for for everything that you you did today, man. Obviously, you know, you didn't have to do it. He wasn't forced to do this. He could have disconnected. Of course not. Uh, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate the feedback. It's for those of you who haven't subscribed to his channel yet, make sure you do so, man, because he's banging out these videos and he got some great content. And obviously, you just heard him do a stellar breakdown, noses on point. So, listen, man, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I appreciate it, man. Um, I'm a fan of your channel as well, man. And again, kudos to uh, on this accomplishment. You know, it's, it's major, man, um, to be able to do something like this. And uh, people think enough of what you do to invest into you. So, uh, congratulations, big ups. Um, like I said, I know that folks are going to be, you know, very impressed uh, with what I smell tonight. Yeah. Um, they're going to be very impressed with these fragrances because something in this collection right here for everybody. So good job.
Appreciate it. Listen, man, always, you already know what to do, all right? Before we go, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn button.